welcome to KC Keto Life. Today I am making a keto lasagna. That's right, lasagna, no noodles needed. This is a very interesting take and I can't wait to try it. We are actually going to be using cabbage leaves. I've already prepared all my food to make it easy for assembly. What you do with the cabbage leaves is try and carefully get them off the head of cabbage. What I did is I pulled them off and then I cut out that really hard middle part and then I got just two side pieces. And you're gonna boil those for about five minutes just so they're a little bit more tender. Then you have 32 ounces of mozzarella. I freshly um, shredded mine. You can also use slices. That would work just as fine. Now for the sauce, um, that is two pounds of ground beef. You brown that, then add a tomato sauce. If you want to make yours, that's wonderful. If not, I use Rayo's homemade um, sauce and that is only three to four carbs. So very good option. That's for a half a cup. Um, and you're going to use 40 ounces of the sauce. Now the ricotta. I've mixed together my ricotta, three eggs, and a cup and a half of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Um, the ricotta, that is three pounds of ricotta that you've added in there, and I've also added some salt and pepper. So now we assemble. You wanna put some sauce on the bottom of your dish. I'm just using a standard long glass dish. And if you like a little more sauce, add a little bit more sauce. Um, you know me, I'm not exact with my measurements, so just lay that down and we are going to layer these cabbage leaves. I am so excited to try this. We love Italian food in our family, but haven't been eating it as much since we have gone to keto. So I'm trying this in hopes that everybody loves it and the kids and husband don't even realize that it's not um, any leaves. So next you're going to put your cheese combination here, just like your standard lasagna. All right, that looks amazing. I cannot wait. Now I have used, instead of ricotta, I've used cottage cheese. That's a great substitute as well. It's really just more preference of taste than anything. All right, so after the ricotta layer, put some mozzarella down. You do not have to be skimpy with this, guys. We love our cheese. So put that all over, and then we're gonna just start over from the beginning. So layer it, leaves, sauce, or sauce leaves, ricotta, mozzarella. Okay, I've got it all layered up. It did two really thick layers and then the top I just layered another layer of um, meat and cheese. So you are going to put that in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just keep an eye and make sure it all gets bubbly and delicious for you. All right, it is done. It's out of the oven and actually cooked for about an hour and then I let it sit for about five minutes and it looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to dig into this lasagna. Once I get it cut out, we'll put a picture so you can see it. And I actually made some fat head breadsticks, garlic breadsticks with it. I'll do another video on that later on. So thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed and definitely try the lasagna.